What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. It's Aramis, and today I have a very, very exciting video for you guys. It is a Bedtime Stories, and as you guys know, Bedtime Stories is just my series on here, kind of like a girl talk, but not really. Um, you send me your advice, or you send me your... Um, scenarios or anything you want to talk about to my phone and then I read it give you my advice and then the people in the comments gives you their opinion as well and there you go bedtime stories this video is so special because I'm collabing with the beautiful Miss Molly Carter as you guys know I've collabed with her in the past I think she's the only one that I've collabed with so far but y'all it's hard out here just to even get friends in the beauty community on YouTube so the fact that she, me and her talk like on an every other day basis and like text message and snapchat like she's more than just someone that I just watch on YouTube like I would consider her one of my little YouTube friends so you know go watch her videos she has a very 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 popping channel she also has an advice segment on her channel so that's what we're collabing on today this video is also very 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 exciting because it's my very first giveaway so if you guys want to see the prizes that one lucky person will be winning go ahead watch the video and um, at the end I'll tell you guys how to enter and what you guys could be winning so I never mentioned this before in my other bedtime stories but I'm going to mention this now because I feel like I need to just go ahead and say this if you're going to send me a bedtime story please make sure it's not an essay okay like I'm going to read this story today because I didn't make that a rule before you know so I can only be so upset about it but y'all this is real life okay so I'm gonna go ahead and read this and um, just for future references don't send me books okay so story number one says hey girl let me first start off by saying that I love your channel you seem very relatable down to earth I can't wait to see how far you go with YouTube stay down for the come up sis but anyways let's get on to the story I prefer to stay anonymous please so we're gonna keep her anonymous hey girl love you too Okay, so there's this guy, we're both 20 now, and have known each other since we were 12 years old. When we were kids, we were in a relationship from 12 to 14, and I put the quotation mark, she put relationship in quotes. We were in a relationship from 12 to 14. I put the quotation marks because, looking back, we were literally babies and had no idea what we were doing as far as real relationship goes. Of course, we've all been there. It just felt right, so we always wanted to be around each other. Did I mention I was crazy about this boy? He was my first kiss. I met his family, and then vice versa. He saw me letters when he got his phone taken. We thought we were going to get married. He bought me gifts. We talked on the phone all day. Kitty shit. But the feelings definitely felt real. I guess you could call it puppy love. Over time, I grew very close to his mom, and she ended up telling me how much... He cared for me, but hinted that he was also entertaining other girls. So basically, I ended up breaking up with him because I found concrete evidence to back up what his mother kind of told me. Side note, that's kind of shady because um, mothers usually take up for their sons no matter how wrong they may be in a situation. And for her to hint that he was talking to somebody else, girl, in my opinion, from the outside looking in, it looked like she don't really like you like that. Just saying. He didn't like it, but I felt it had to be done. I was really hurt, but I got over it. Sort of. So life goes on. We stay friends, continue to talk, flirt here and there throughout high school. I met other guys, but in the back of my mind, I still thought of him for some reason. I'd always felt like we were still going to end up together somehow. I'm the type that believes in signs. So the fact that our names are damn near the same and my birthday is the same as his dad's and his birthday is my parents' anniversary date was enough for me to keep she sent a second message because she accidentally pressed in. As, as ridiculously as it sounds, it was enough for me to keep holding on to some, some form of hope that he'd be all about me someday so we could try again as mature young adults. So we both graduated from high school and he still called me out the blue and we talked for hours, but we never managed to actually see one another. Fast forward to now. He was in college but decided to come back home to Atlanta to work for his dad. I'm still in the city too, attending school. So after a series of I miss you texts and calls, we finally decided to link up recently. And when we did, it was like nothing changed. Conversation flowed, we laughed, caught up, kissed even. He was just being an all around gentleman and I felt that I felt like that little girl again. So after our first night together, he took me back to his place, walked me to my door, kissed me goodnight, and said he wanted to see me again soon. Gave me an extra long hug and told me he'd text me when he made it home. So like he said, he texted me when he made it safely. 
At this point, I'm starting to think we might be in the beginning stages of dating or talking. But we ended up texting back to back for like three more days, then nothing. He texted me good morning. I replied. He left it on red. Trying to play it cool, I waited to see if he would text me back, but he didn't. We followed each other on Snapchat, so it didn't make it any better that I could see him posting snaps. Five days passed, and I still didn't hear back from him, so I called. I know I'm not playing at all. He answered, though, and we made plans to link up again later that night. He told me to be on the lookout for a call and text from him, but he never reached out to follow up. This was yesterday. I'll be fair and give you all the facts. He has kind of gotten out of a relationship with a girl, and he described to me as childish. He lives 40 minutes away from me. My car's in the shop, so he has to come get me. And he smokes weed on a daily basis and tends to forget stuff. So those could be factors as to why he's pulling back and didn't respond. I don't know. I'm just trying to look at it from both perspectives. Like, am I just overreacting because of how much potential I see in the situation? Or am I justified for feeling a little upset about him flaking? What should I do moving forward? I'm going to call her... I'm gonna call you I'm gonna call her misled so her name for this story is going to be misled so if anybody got anything to say to misled put it in the comments what I'm, I'm calling you misled because I feel like you're basing or you're, you're trying to like start something that doesn't really need to be started just because of prior history now you have to remember just like you said it was puppy love since the age of 12 now it would be beautiful if you guys decided to work something out and then when you got older you guys just started to be decided to be together because it was just right like it was just a perfect love story like that would be gorgeous but honey sometimes that's all on tv realistically this is a guy y'all are both in college or i think you said you were in college i don't know if he's in college but y'all are both at the age where you know other people are entertaining you and that's okay I don't really feel like you should base that you should base what what you're doing as far as happiness and you know your overall day on this specific situation I feel like if he wanted to talk to you he would talk to you like you know we are young and we make stupid decisions but we know that if we want to talk to somebody we will talk to them it goes either way if I want to talk to somebody I'm gonna talk to them if he want to talk to some if a guy wants to talk to a girl he's gonna talk to her he might let a couple of days go by because he's stubborn but he ain't gonna let a whole week go by constantly snapchatting and then canceling meetups and stuff like no he just doesn't want to talk or doesn't want what you want he probably sees that you want more out of it than he does and you're he's just not ready for it which i feel like you should respect because a lot of men will lead you into situations like this knowing they don't want anything serious out of it and then you're like fucked up even worse than what you are right now so if i was you i would just you know text him when he texts you every now and then i would give him the same attention that he gives you because there's no need to stick your neck out for someone call them hit them up to hang out if they're just not into you you know it's it's okay if he's just not into you right now you don't know how he will be years from now just like you said it's been years already you never know what it could be in the future as far as the whole smoking weed thing, I don't really think that that's an excuse as to why he would forget to hang out with you. Just me being real, I'm keeping it 100 with you. I don't think that him being high all the time is an excuse of him not hanging out. Like, if anything, he would ask to smoke with you because these days that's like a date thing like you know let's smoke let's come over let's smoke let's chill like you know something you know I don't really think that's what it is but and then he you say he got out of a relationship with the girl that he described as childish okay that's a red flag right there you don't want to be with him right now because if if someone talks about their ex in a negative light all of the time and the first thing he told you about her was as childish he you know, re remember that he was with this childish little girl. Like, remember that he was there. So you can't really listen to that. But as far as you know, this girl could be one of your best friends one day. She's childish because she decided that she didn't want to be with him no more. Like, you never know why he's calling her childish. So just disregard that. Just, you know, disregard what he said about her. And I would just move on. Who cares if he doesn't want to talk to you? It's whatever. Move on. Treat him like he treats you, and then maybe he'll reach out to you. Maybe he won't. But I wouldn't focus on it too much because, like you said, you've been talking to other guys anyways. It's been years, so I would just continue to do what you've been doing. Hopefully that works out for you, girl. But, yeah, for future references, y'all, don't send me stuff like this because I can't get to as many stories as I want to get to in one video. 
This one is pretty interesting, y'all. This is pretty interesting. So get your tea or whatever you was going to get to drink in this video. All right. She says, hello, Aramis. My name is blank and I need your advice. I'm going to say blank because I don't really want to use her name. I've been in a relationship with this guy named Johnny for four years. He recently proposed to me. We have one child together already. We're in the midst of having another baby girl. I'm nine months pregnant and I'm soon to be due in mid-November. I work two jobs and Johnny works three. Johnny's mom passed away a couple of days ago due to liver and lung cancer, so as of now, he's still grieving. I came home one day after work and caught Johnny sleeping in the bed with another man. I wanted to scream at him so bad, but I didn't. I quietly packed all my shit and my baby shit up, caught a tow truck, and to, to come get my things. I left him a, quote, fuck you and your gay ass, end quote, letter on the counter of his house. I currently stay back at home with my mom, which is four hours away from Johnny. I got a lawyer and we have a court date coming up on October 3rd. Johnny will never see his kids again and we are not getting married, but I will pawn his ring and get money off of it. After I give birth to my second child, I will be going to get tested. What do you think about this? Were y'all ready for that? Were y'all even ready for that? One moment. girl what the fuck okay i don't really know like when i first read this i was like okay maybe he was just sleeping with another man he wasn't like sleeping with another man but i talked to my mom about it and you know he was sleeping with another man okay so we're gonna assume that that's what he was doing okay if he was doing that you a strong woman first of all because i would have slapped clapped popped and i would have i would have I would have fought him like the bitch he is. I would have fought him. But, but this is the only thing I don't agree with. I don't agree with you. Okay, pawning his ring, okay, fine, whatever. But taking the kids away, I don't agree with that. Simply because you don't know how hard it is for kids to grow up without father figures on a regular. Not because that they were caught sleeping in the bed with another man, but just because they were never around, period. So you don't want to damage your child's development by potentially taking their father out of their life whether he's gay or not fathers have a huge impact on children's life and i really don't think that you should take the father out especially since he's not voluntarily leaving um if anything divorce or never don't marry him and put him on child support if it helps you sleep better at night i think this is a crazy situation and honestly if i was in it i would be in jail um, awaiting bond for manslaughter because there's no way that you're sleeping in my bed with another man like in my on my my bed that I pay for you're not doing it sweetie I think it's because you're mad right now you're already pregnant that the hormones and everything else your emotions is raging so I think you do need to go get tested definitely and you also need to reconsider the whole disappearing off the face of the planet and not letting him see his kids thing because I don't really think that's a good idea. Just f me thinking like far in the future, especially with the child you already have, she knows him as dad. So you don't know what kind of path you could end up. You could end up on a path of multiple men being in and out of your child's lives and you don't know how damaging that is. Like, you know, they should at least know who daddy is. Like from the same daddy that was raising your first kid. She should always know who daddy is. So I really, really want to update on this. So whenever you figure that out, please email me an update, girl. Let me know what happens, okay? Let me know. Okay, so now that we are done with the bedtime stories, I'm going to go ahead and let y'all know about my giveaway. So the things that I decided to give away in my giveaway today are things that I use on a daily basis. I went on Snapchat and asked you guys what you guys would want given away. And a lot of y'all said makeup. And someone said, why don't you just give away some of your favorite makeup items from the drugstore, you know, so it's not like breaking your bank, at least on your first giveaway. So that is what I did. So the first thing I'm giving away is the NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick. And this, I don't know the name of this color, Oh, it's in soft spoken. It's in soft spoken, y'all. So I don't want to open this because it is definitely sealed off for the winter. So this is prize number one. And let me tell y'all, I really like those liquid lipsticks. Prize number two is my favorite highlighter right now. It's the e.l.f. Baked Highlighter and um, Poppin'. Yes, this highlighter is definitely 
popping. This is um, not available everywhere. I've heard when I posted a picture on Snapchat of it, somebody was like, girl, I wish my elf, you know, my elf section had that, you know. So I'm going to be giving away this elf baked highlighter. And I'm also going to be giving away my favorite mascara since middle school. I know there's like a ton better mascaras out there, but y'all, this has been bae since I was allowed to wear makeup. So I'm giving away this. And lastly, I will be giving away a Bobbi Brown brush set. This brush set I use almost every day. It has the spoolie for your eyebrows. It has the angle brush for the brow gel. Like It has everything from down to the fan brushes from your highlight. So if you guys are interested in entering this giveaway in this amazing brush set, y'all, this is my favorite brush set of all time. I use at least like 10 of these brushes on a daily, y'all. Y'all are going to like... Y'all are going to scream when this comes in the mail, okay? If you guys are interested in entering this giveaway, you guys are going to have to do three things for me. I'm going to need you to, one, subscribe to my channel. Two, put in the comment section below the city in which you live. I need to know because I'm planning to do a meet and greet um, sometime in March, and I need to know where most of my subscribers are located. So I need you to subscribe to my channel Put in the comment section the city in which you live. And thirdly, follow me on Snapchat at Aramis underscore loves you. I will be putting it right here and in the description box for you guys to go ahead and do so. So all you have to do, subscribe to the channel, comment below the city in which you live, and follow me on Snapchat. And um, if you win... You will be sent all four of these items and a little thank you note from me personally. So if you like this channel, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to enter this great giveaway. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!